James or Susan? Darren! We have to settle on a name. Sam, how many times have I told you never talk in the middle of somebody's backswing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, what was it you asked me? I said we have to settle on a name. We did last night. James if it's a boy and Susan if it's a girl. Yeah, I know, but I thought it over and I've changed my mind. I don't want to settle on just any old name. It, it should be something romantic. How about Romeo if it's a boy and Juliet if it's a girl? Well, sweetheart, don't you think you're being a little unreasonable? I mean, after all, the only thing that happened was you wanted some beer and you got it. Sam, I like the kind of beer that comes from the refrigerator, not from witchcraft. <laughs> Now, which wise guy, among the many in your family, pulled this stunt? Did it ever occur to you that maybe someone is just trying to be nice to you? Well, let's find out who's being nice and tell him to knock it off. <laughs> okay. I'll try and reach Mother. In the meantime, uh, how about a sandwich? We have some nice corned beef. Yeah. Corned beef sandwich sounds great. <laughs> Sam, will you please hurry up and get your mother? I have a feeling it isn't mother. It seems to be some sort of a, a wish spell. You get whatever you wish for. Yeah. Well, I wish you'd call your mother and straighten her out. As you wish. <laughs> Sorry. Mother! I'm having a little problem, darling. Look, Andorra, just admit you did it, and I promise not to get sore. Uh, Darren, let me handle this, Mother. Just admit you did it, and we promise not to get sore. Did you put a spell on Darren? I did not. Is that the truth? Have I ever lied to you? Mother, I didn't send for you to discuss your character. <laughs> now, what's happened is that Darren gets everything he wishes for. It's happened! I can't believe it! What's happened? Your father told me that this might occur, but it was just too much to hope for. What might occur? Oh, darling, I'm so happy for you. What's she talking about? Yeah, well, that, that's what, what I'd like to know. Well, don't you understand? It's the first stages of wishcraft. No! Yes! Will oh, you two stop discussing me like I was a piece of furniture? Now, what are you babbling about? Well, if you can muzzle him, I do have an explanation. Da Darren, please, this is very important. Yes, Mother. There's never been a marriage of witch to mortal before, so there's no precedent for this. But what I think has happened is that as a result of Durwood's constant exposure to witchcraft, he's been absorbing it by osmosis. <gasps> and he's turned into a warlock. Into a what? <laughs> Ooh, it's me? No, no, no. no this, 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 is a, this is some kind of a joke, right? And a bad joke at that. Uh, Darren, please calm down, Mother. I, I think you ought to leave us now. I, I think this is a very delicate time. Samantha, this is a time for rejoicing. We'll start rejoicing after you leave. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I never figured on anything like this. I mean, I, I don't think I can be something I'm not. I can't live by whipping up this and zapping up that and wishing up who knows what. Uh, sweetheart, let, let me try and explain something that might make you feel better. Okay, but I doubt it. Well, as time goes by and you mature... Why? Well, I, I mean, as your wishcraft matures and you develop better control over your powers, all that accidental wishcraft will stop. I was right. I don't feel better. <laughs> Look at that. My daughter's been decent enough to live your mortal life for five long years, is she not? Well, yes. Well, the least you can do is to experience the other side of the coin for a few short days. Oh, now that sounds like a fair compromise. A few short days? One short day, if you like. <laughs> it's a deal, sir. Call me Maurice. <laughs> He's gone. There are a couple of other things I'd like to call on. What if I were you? Daddy may be out of sight, but he's seldom out of earshot. Hello. Oh, hi, Larry. Well, I 
I uh, was held up by some uh, unexpected visitors. <laughs> yeah, I'm just leaving. Right. Goodbye. I've got to run, honey. We well, haven't had your breakfast. Oh. Huh. Yeah, yes, you have. <laughs> I've got an important meeting this morning, and I, I don't want to be late. And you know how bad the traffic is at this hour. What is all this traffic nonsense? All you have to do is to command the watch, and psst, you're at the office. Actually, Maurice, I love the drive. Gives me time to relax, listen to the traffic bulletins. You're trying my patience. Darren, you know Daddy's temper. You're doggone right. <laughs> now, just a few simple instructions. You hold the watch, you concentrate on where you want to be, and you say, Zolda, Prankan, Kopek, Lum. Zolda, Prankan, Kopek, Lum? <laughs> that was a dirty trick! <laughs> Uh, b b bye, S sweetheart. S see you at dinner. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'll say this for Darren. He disappeared like he's been doing it all his life. Except for that pained look on his face. And these. <laughs> oh. But he'll improve with practice. <laughs> down here, you rotten bird. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> what do you make of it? I don't know. Is it a bird? Oh, it's a bird. It's the biggest bird I've ever seen. Uh, should we get out and investigate? You get out and investigate. I'm not going anywhere near it. Uh, maybe we better call in. Good suggestion. <laughs> this is car 953. Car 953, do you read me? Come in, car 953. We're in front of a house on Morning Glory Circle, and we want to report a... Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> bad suggestion. You describe it. You want to report a what? Uh, nothing. It's just something we thought we saw that we realized we didn't see. Uh, over and out. Let's go have a beer. Good suggestion. <laughs> You're coming down here, or I'm coming up to get you. Okay, that's the way you want to play. that bird by the tail. I would have fallen off that roof head first. That dumb bird saved my life. I knew there was something I didn't like about that bird. <laughs> Wait! If it please your majesty, uh, this lady was very close to my mother. Oh. Well, what is it? Why not have some fun with him first? Hmm. What did you have in mind? Well, your prowess in wrestling is known throughout the kingdom, Your Majesty. Uh, how about a match with this uh, poltroon? Oh, 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 madam. 
between this spindly figure of a man and ourselves, there can be no match. We would crush him like a dried leaf. So what? He's going to be executed anyway. Thanks, Andorra. I hope your broom goes bald. I just think he wants to be coaxed. <laughs> Please, Your Majesty, it would be so much fun. <laughs> well, if the sight of blood and the sound of bone snapping will not offend the ladies, very well, release him. Endora, uh, are you crazy? It's the only way to reach Samantha, to strike a responsive chord in her. What's going to be struck is my head against this marble floor. But would you rather have it fall into a basket? <laughs> you have to trust me. Trust you? <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> At least I'll die laughing. <sighs> Stand back. Stand back. Not you. <laughs> Oh, he's nothing but a coward. Sounds, man! This is a wrestling match, not a foot race! You pick your sport, I'll pick mine. <laughs> Did you say? Uncle. I wouldn't want his death on my conscience. You killed him! Well, wasn't that the idea? You simply have no feelings, you big klutz. Klutz? What is klutz? <laughs> Thank heaven he's alive, but he may not be for long. Oh, just one kiss before I go. Darren. Sam. Sounds. Oh. Hang on, kids. Here we go! <laughs> Darren? Oh, excuse me. What would you like for breakfast? Dinner. Well, it's all still in there. And it's not rare anymore. Forget it. I wish I could forget the whole evening. Did you get in touch with your mother? Mm-hmm. Finally. And got a confession. Here's the culprit. Mother put a truth spell on it. She wanted to prove that mortals can't stand to tell the truth to one another. Well, this mortal can stand telling the truth. Your mother pulled a low, sneaky, mean, underhanded trick. How's that for the truth? <laughs> uh, I'll get it. Oh, Good morning, hi. Samantha. Lovely dinner. Well, it's all still out there if you want some. Hi, Darren. I just dropped by to let you know I was practically up all night trying to calm down Cora May and her husband. With a lot of smooth talk and a little infighting, I managed to salvage the account. But I do think you owe an apology. Well, Larry, I... Darren, there's no need for him to apologize. You'll just have to get along without one. Well, maybe I can get along without him at the office, too. Well, Larry, if that's the way you feel... Go ahead and try it. You've got a deal. That's the worst deal I ever made in my life. I need you at the office, Darren. You know that. I can't get along without you. Isn't it nice to hear the truth? What about Mr. and Mrs. Franklin? Actually, I wasn't up with them last night. Cora May called me this morning. It seems that they continued that Donnybrook they were having and cleared up a lot of old misunderstandings. They're happy as larks. 
Actually, Larry, everything turned out beautifully. I guess so. <laughs> I can't wait to tell Mother. Mother? <laughs> she just loves happy endings. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll see you later at the office, dear. <laughs> this little fella really works, doesn't he? Let me give it a test. Honey, you're beautiful, sweet, clever, adorable, and I love you madly. It works. Well, it doesn't work on me, but I love you. And that is the truth, the whole truth, and etc. <laughs> <laughs>